so hello guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to look at how to get the best performance possible on roblox so this method has been tried and tested for pcs laptops low-end laptops with intel hd graphics and also for high-end laptops and also for pcs gaming pcs low-end pcs as well my pc right now is a low-end pc but i've tested and tried this method and it works perfectly okay so to the first and the most important thing we are going to move the mouse pointer to the top the top left we are going to click on settings right when the setting tab open i think on the fourth line you see maximum frame rates and the default is 60 fps but we want the best frame rate possible so we are going to choose a higher one we can go 120 144 it depends 60 fps will give you the most stable frame rate to do so next thing is you scroll down we we'll scroll all the way down and you see graphics mode is already on automatic remove it from automatic and set it to manual now once you set that one i can come down and decrease the graphics quality to just one this will give you very very good fps for the game go to the search bar down below on your tax bar go all the way to the search bar and type performance now once you type performance you will see adjust the appearance and performance of windows pop up so it's right adjust the appearance and performance of windows and then make sure you select that one once you open it you will see this pop-up menu it says performance options now over here these things are what animate your windows so when you have never done this before for someone who has never done this before it will be on adjust for best appearance but we are going to select adjust for best performance or custom and then we choose these ones so the first one you are going to choose is enable pick this will allow you to pick into folders or to hover over a folder and see what is inside the second one is show thumbnails instead of icons this is very important otherwise all your folders all your videos everything will just show the um, vlc show just random icons right it has to show thumbnails to show what is actually inside that is very good the next one will be show window content while dragging and then we have to, we also have to select smooth edges on screen fonts otherwise all your edges will look jagged and rough and unappealing so at least these ones still make windows look okay for now and this is good now for now you not see it as you are doing anything big but trust me it will it will help it will go a long way to give you way 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 better performance so the next thing we are going to do is to go into display settings just right click on your screen and click on display when you're in display settings move your mouse pointer all the way down to advanced display and when you click on advanced display you have things like your display information and your refresh rate so if you have a monitor with high refresh rate 120 144 you know you, you have to choose that to get the best performance possible it will look better and it will feel better but for me my monitor is just on 60 hz so it's good for now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to come back to the search bar and then type graphic settings we are going to come all the way back to the search bar and type graphic settings so when you type graphic settings the first option that pops up and then you select it you'll be greeted with this background where you see your games and applications yes so click on browse and then look for your roblox um folder go to program files we go all the way down go if yours is not there go to program files x86 or X, program files 86 and then look for it i guess mine is also not here but mine is on the desktop so choose your roblox player and then you come all the way down here and then you go to options um power saving and high performance because i'm on a pc and i have only one this one graphics card in there it, it, you can see that both power saving and high performance are my gpu right but on a laptop power saving will be the integrated graphics card and then high performance will be the dedicated graphics card so always make sure to put on high performance to get the best performance possible now we come back to search bar and then we type disk cleanup disk cleanup and most, most people are scared of this option but this doesn't really do anything go to the disk cleanup and then 
choose your, the decks you want to clean so choose c and click on ok now you see that some options are already selected like my downloaded program files temporary internet files all these things are here so if you choose you can choose windows uh, upgrade log files windows defender antivirus this is not actually going to uh, remove or uninstall your antivirus it's just going to clear antivirus logs and all of those things but it's not actually going to uninstall your antivirus so once you are done then you click on ok come back to the search bar and type power options so we click on power options now we have here our different power plants usually most people's pcs or laptops will be unbalanced but for the best performance possible we are going to put some high performance for people on laptops right this is going to draw a lot of power from your power source from your battery to give you the best performance possible but on pcs also it has certain features put in there that is going to help with performance the next thing we are going to do is we are going to open our browser and type in razor cortex game booster now this thing goes a long long way to give you very very good performance So you go to the website, you type Razer Cortex Game Booster into your browser and then you select the first option that pops up and then you send it to the website. Once you do this, just click on download now. And for me, this has already been downloaded so yes, I'll just go back into my Razer Cortex Game Booster. Now this is what a Razer Cortex Game Booster looks like, right? All your installed games will be here in my library. I don't know why the thumbnails for the games are not showing here but anyway yes so i have roblox and a few games in here yeah now you can see in my roblox that my fps is mainly 50 60 right that is because i've done all these optimizations previously it was mainly on 30 20 i couldn't pass 30 fps now you at the top you have the launcher game booster system booster what i wanted to do is to come to game booster and you most of the times i just want you to leave it i just want you to leave it as it is don't try changing anything so you click on boost now so when you see this and you're ready to play your game just click on boost now it will boost everything and then you load your game and you'll be ready to go this will give you at least 10 more 15 more fps in all your games as you can see it is releasing memory for the game to be optimized properly and be played it is turning off services and all of these things yeah okay so the next step will be to right click on the windows icon on the tax bar and then click on tax manager now when you go into tax manager go to startup these are the apps that will open up upon you turning on your pc or upon you starting your pc so click on startup and then disable most of the apps that are not system apps that start with the PC. When you do this, it will make the PC quicker and easier to run your, your games. Make it quicker and easy to run Roblox. So go through and look for apps that are not system apps. And then right click on them and then disable. Some of the apps here are needed like um, my drivers, my audio drivers. I, I, uh, I will not disable those but other apps like Razor Cortex I will leave it enabled but other apps need to be disabled upon startup 